Hello everyone, I'm Angelo Delangit and welcome to my YouTube channel. I made this video or this vlog because I'm going to be talking about my career or my passion as a licensed practical nurse in an orthopedic rehabilitation unit. But first, let me tell you what is our unit all about. An orthopedic rehabilitation unit is a type of unit wherein we admit our patients from the hospitals through referrals. So these patients underwent through surgery due to fractures as well as falls as well as vehicular accidents and other unnecessary events that happen to them. So basically, we admit these patients from the hospitals. They are suffering from rib fractures, hip fractures, shoulder fractures, patients who are needing to increase their mobility, their strength, their independence in order for them to get home. We also admit patients who are needing to finish their anti IV antibiotics. So basically, our unit is very interesting and you can learn a lot of things from us. Um, our unit consists of nurses, doctors, um, healthcare aides, unit clerks, pharmacists. We have our nurse practitioners as well. We have um, housekeeping attendants there. We have um, the physical therapist, occupational therapist, therapy assistant. So we really work as a team in our unit in order for the patients to get ready to get home. For the new graduates or already licensed practical nurses who wants to gain an experience in an orthopedic rehabilitation unit, I have some tips for you guys. Number one, you should come prepared. If you're a new graduate, then you can review all the skills that you did in your preceptorships as well as what you did in school or if you're already a licensed practical nurse, then somehow you have an idea on what are the skills that are needed to be done in the nursing unit that I've mentioned. Number two, character is also an important matter. If you have a good character towards your patients, towards the patient's family members, your coworkers, your bosses, then we can all work harmoniously in order to achieve the goal that you have set on a patient. Number three, the skills. You have to know about the vital signs and your vascular assessments because some of the patients, they arrive with a simmer splint, they have these donjoy braces, they have the sling, they have the neck braces. So all those types of slings and braces, we have to know all of them in order to assess the color, sensation, movement, temperature, also known as the CSMT. It's under the neurovascular assessment. You have to assess for your vital signs as well. Uh, sometimes if the patient is in our unit, they suffer from a fall incident, then we have to assess how to do the neurovital vital signs as well as the vital signs. Um, the IV pumps, it's also important because we give IV antibiotics to our patients. Simple and complex wound care, head to toe assessments because it's part of the admission process. Then if the admissions nurse is not around because sometimes the admissions nurse work from 10 a.m. 6 p.m. or it depends on the shift. If you're working evenings or nights, then we can have an instance wherein we have to assess or we have to admit the patient. We have to know all of that. and. Aside from those things, the most important thing is we all have to be flexible on all this. Number four, it's very important to have this kind of mindset that nursing is not only a profession but a passion. It's good to have good money from nursing but aside from that, if we have a joy in our hearts to take care of people, then we can bring that joy before going to work, during work and after work. So it's very important that we have this passion on what we do. And number five, last but not the least, is to wear your best smile because it's very contagious. If we smile towards our patient by asking them as well, how was your day? Or take care always, or by saying, have a good day, then it means a lot to them. Like communicating with them, spending time with them as well. And also to our coworkers, if we, has, if we smile to our coworkers or everybody at the workplace, it can provide a happy environment or can uh, give positive vibes. So that's it, guys. I hope that you learned something from me. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Angelo Prayer in this YouTube channel. So stay safe and take care always. Bye.